The question often arises about the distinction between titans and gods in Greek mythology. Are titans considered gods, or are they completely separate entities? Some argue that titans are giant beings with powers symbolizing the creation of the world, while gods represent extensions of ourselves. While there may be some truth to this statement, Greek mythology actually suggests that titans and gods are classified as similar or even the same type of entity. Greek mythology can be divided into three generations of deities, the primordial deities, the titans, and the Olympians. The primordial deities, such as Uranus and Gaia, represent the oldest generation and are often personifications of natural elements. The titans, who are physical beings but also represent abstract concepts, are the children of the primordial deities. The titans, in turn, have their own children, including the Olympians who are the offspring of Cronus and Rhea. Together, the titans and the Olympians make up the majority of the third generation of deities. While some argue that titans and gods are fundamentally different, it is important to note that the term titan describes a specific type of god and the generation they belong to. In Greek mythology, titans are considered gods, and their status as deities is evident in their role and powers. The confusion may arise from depictions in media, such as the God of War franchise, which sometimes distinguish between titans and gods. However, this distinction is not consistent with Greek mythology itself. Size may also contribute to the misconception that titans and gods are separate. Primordial deities, representing colossal elements like the earth and the sea, may appear larger than life. However, the titans and the Olympians are not described as colossal in size. They have the ability to manipulate their physical forms and are capable of change when it suits their purposes. One crucial aspect of Greek mythology is that only a god or goddess can give birth to another god or goddess. Nymphs and demigods are considered minor deities rather than full gods. Even instances where entities are born from gods, such as the giants born from Gaia or Pegasus from Medusa and Poseidon, they are not considered deities themselves. Only deities can give birth to deities. The distinction between Olympians and second-generation titans, despite being born in the same generation, arises from the fact that the Olympians overthrew the ruling class and ushered in a new era. The title Olympian marks this transition rather than indicating a fundamental difference in their divine nature. Titans are elder gods, belonging to an earlier generation, while Olympians represent a new ruling class. In summary, Titans are indeed considered gods in Greek mythology. They are simply an older generation of deities, often referred to as primordial titans. The terms primordial, titan, and Olympian help classify the generations to which they belong. Each generation of deities has its unique characteristics, marking the progression and evolution of civilization. If you have any further questions or thoughts on this topic, please feel free to share them in the comments below.